A quick Google search about attention deficit hyperactivity disorder can show you that ADHD is the most common and studied of mental impairments. Despite that, there are a lot of misconceptions that make the right care difficult. When we talk about children's diagnoses of ADHD versus adults' diagnoses of ADHD, there are oftentimes misdiagnoses. In this video, we will uncover what ADHD is and how it may relate to developmental disabilities. Also, we're going to show you three simple yet powerful hacks direct support professionals can leverage to help their clients cope with the disorder. So, what is ADHD? Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, is a neurodevelopmental disorder as defined by the American Psychiatric Association in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, or DSM. ADHD has been recognized by doctors since 1902. From 1902 until 1980, it was all about behavioral problems. But the name of the disorder has changed several times. It wasn't until the mid-80s when a breakthrough occurred. We've realized that this is not so much a behavior problem, but far more a problem with the brain's management system. People with developmental disabilities who have ADHD could be challenging to identify because of overlapping features. A lot of times when we're looking at a child who's not paying attention in school, we rush this idea of ADHD, and yes, sometimes it might even be medical. For example, allergies. That's actually a really common uh, reason why a child would behave as if they had ADHD, but actually it's due to a medical condition. Another factor that makes ADHD hard to spot is that it changes symptoms as an individual ages. Adult ADHD disrupts the executive functions of the brain, such as judgment, decision-making, initiative, memory, and the ability to complete complex tasks, and that can spell problems for educational and professional development. Dealing with the situation, now you understand a little more about ADHD and why it's been so difficult to spot over the years, despite being the most studied and typical mental disorder. Here are the three simple yet effective hacks you can use when supporting a client with the disorder. Encourage sleep routines. ADHD is infamous for having altered sleep patterns, People tend to stay up all night, be tired the next day. This is very common. So setting up a routine with a regular bedtime and a regular waking up time can help quite a bit. Exercise. I know you hear this over and over and over about how exercise helps everything, but all studies show that it really can help with ADHD. A controlled environment. People with ADHD tend to have chaotic environments which kind of mirror some of the chaotic thought processes. And there you have it. Now you understand ADHD can be complicated to manage for people with other developmental disabilities. But you also have three powerful hacks to help clients. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And remember, First Choice Family Services is your information source for the DSP industry.